Hey YouTube fam, what is happening? I'm really excited today to share this video with you because it's my epic cheat meal day uh, and it's going to be peri peri chicken crust pizza. I'm going to have about five slices of that and I'm going to have over here we've got donut times, uh, we've got Nutella donuts. Nutella donuts. I was planning this cheat meal since about a week ago and I want to give you a bit of a history uh, with my um, food. So basically I haven't had pizza now for at least six months. Six months no pizza and I love crust pizza so much, especially their peri peri chicken pizza. Um, and when it comes to donuts, I haven't had a single donut, I kid you not, for now at least a year. I haven't had a donut for at least a year and I, I'm so excited. When I heard about a Nutella donut, I was like, I have to have it, you know, uh, and I've got, uh, my expectations are actually quite high as I was walking to the place, uh, I was really excited, you would have no idea, I was just walking with a box of donuts and people will probably be thinking, this guy is so weird, walking so happily with a box of donuts, there must be something wrong with him, you know, uh, but I'm just so excited to eat these donuts because I haven't had any and just the thought of Nutella combined with donuts. It just drives me like crazy, right? Um, so I'm really excited to share this video with you. Um, and one thing uh, I wanted to find out is, because I have no idea how many calories there is in each donut. So basically I had a look online uh, and for the standard, um, I think it was 70 gram donuts. Uh, it's, about, uh, it's about 300 calories for about a 70 gram donut. So I'm thinking these donuts are quite big and I'll show you in just a sec. So they'll probably be about 600 calories. So I'm going to estimate uh, each donut to, to be about 600 calories. Okay, so I'm going to put those numbers down uh, for all the food that I'm eating in just a sec. Uh, we're actually just waiting for the peri peri chicken pizza to come in. Um, so hopefully within the next 20 minutes. And we'll just dig into all the food and just enjoy. And it's going to be awesome. So let's get it done. Alright guys, the pizza just finally arrived. Okay, so we've got the pizza, we've got the donuts as well already and haven't even opened them yet. I'm just waiting for everything to be here. I'm really excited to open it. Let's do it. Okay, peri peri chicken pizza and the other half is I believe Wagyu. Um, so definitely the Wagyu looks good. I haven't seen the Wagyu before uh, but it looks pretty decent. Like It's like glazed and stuff. Peri peri chicken as well. Man, it smells so good. It smells fresh. You can smell the um, the spice in the peri peri chicken pizza. It just came out of the oven, obviously. Man, that is some good shit right there. I can't wait to get into that. All right, let's have a look at these donuts over here. Um, oh my god, we got the Nutella donuts. Those two here. Uh, this is salted caramel, and we got. This one is called actually Home Alone. Uh, it's got a Kit Kat bar at the top, and that's for my missus. Uh, and we got, um, I believe this one here is Oreo. Uh, what was it? Oreo. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster, sorry. Cookie Monster. But yeah, they look big. They're big donuts. Okay, so I'm gonna weigh the donuts for you before we get into it. Like I said before, a 70 gram Nutella donut. Is already 300 calories. So I want to know how many calories roughly are in these donuts, okay? So let's pick up one and weigh it. So I got my scale ready here. And it definitely feels heavy. It definitely feels heavy, guys. Okay, let's turn this thing on. Definitely, I, I predict this donut is going to be at least probably close to 200 grams, okay? I'm going to say 180 grams, be a bit specific. 201 grams guys if you can see 201 grams okay so let's just weigh the other donuts just for reference sake just to see how much roughly okay the salted caramel uh, salted caramel is actually 150 grams that's quite interesting so I guess the Nutella donuts are quite heavy um, this one is actually a little bit smaller than the other one so let's weigh that one as well so as you can see this one is 190 grams so a little bit of a difference there. Uh, the um, Cookie Monster. Let's have a look. 194 grams. And we got Home Alone. 
I'm alone. This one feels really light. Okay, only 129 grams. Okay. All right, so the, the heaviest donut so far is going to be the 200 one. And I'm definitely having that one. And I will definitely destroy it. Let me tell you that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this is the food, guys. We're going to dig into it in just a sec. Let's do it. All right, guys. We're going to start digging into this pizza. Let's do it. I'm going to try eat a little bit slow because... I want to be able to enjoy this pizza. I'm not a competitive eater or anything. Okay, I just want to enjoy this pizza because I haven't had a pizza. And this is my favorite pizza. I haven't had it for, like I mentioned before, at least six months. Okay, this is my first pizza in six months. Oh my God. That is so good. Like, my expectation was so high, but this delivered. Like, it's perfect right now. The flavors are really good. Like, they're not overpowering. Um, it's got... Excuse me. It's got, like, really good chili mayo on the top. That just tastes awesome, man. The cheese is good. Everything is just fresh. Wow. I can't believe that. I mean, I can't believe it because that's... Every time I've gotten this pizza, it's always tasted good. I've never had a peri-peri chicken pizza and I thought, okay, this is like, this is, this is bad. Every time it's been, it's delivered. Okay, so I'm not trying to promote um, crust pizza or anything, which in fact I'm doing, but um, yeah, pizzas are really good. Always good quality. Like you end up spending a little bit extra um, this pizza, it was a half-half, cost us about $25 with delivery, um, but it's so worth it. I would rather pay a few extra dollars and get an awesome pizza that I can enjoy, because I haven't had a pizza for six months, so I want to pay a little bit extra, get an awesome pizza that I can really enjoy, and that's, that's worth my money, that's for sure. But this is definitely the bomb. Mmm. Man. Yeah. Okay. It just looks beautiful as well. Like when you look at it, it just looks good. Like they definitely put a lot of sauce on it. Uh, I mean, it's my cheat, my epic cheat day. So go, go hard or go home. Um, I'm actually at home right now, so that. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. Oh my god, guys. This is the shit. Okay. I can die happy right now. Like, someone can shoot me and I can die happy, you know? Like, I hope no one shoots me, but I am, like, so happy, like, eating this food, you know? And the thing is. What I always feel, like when you eat this type of food every single day or every second or third day, it's not as enjoyable as when you have it like once every couple, couple of months or once a week. I want to be having these cheat meals at least once a week, you know, to speed up my fat loss. They might not be as intense as this one, like not as epic as this one, uh, but they will be like pretty decent, you know. And when I say epic, that's epic for me. Okay, so for all of you competitive eaters and things like that, you probably would be laughing at me. Uh, but epic for me, I mean, I'm eating about, I would say 2,200 calories because I worked it out last night, but I might have an extra piece uh, of the pizza and I'll probably have an extra donut. So it would be probably close to 3,000 calories. All right, guys, just eating the um, Wagyu pizza. And this is my girlfriend, actually, and she's quite shy to show herself. Her name's I. Say hello, I. Okay, there we go. I wanted to uh, get her some camera time, at least once, um, but yeah. So what I wanted to say is, I just tried the Wagyu pizza. Uh, I didn't really film that, but it was really, it was really good actually. It had a lot of um, ginger on it, and you can taste the beef. Uh, you can really taste the Wagyu, it was like, it melted in your mouth, it was so good. Uh, but, my peri-peri chicken, nothing beats it, I mean, 
it comes kind of close, but but not really. Let's just say Peri Peri Chicken is the bomb. The thing is, uh, it gets you it gets you quite um, full really quickly. So basically, I'm on a diet, so my stomach is quite small. So I I got filled up quite fast. So I had to stop, take a break. I had just four slices, so I had the Peri Peri Chicken Pizza, three slices, and one of the Wagyu. Um, so I got full really quick. So. I definitely want to leave space for the donuts, so I'm just going to rest a little bit and smash those donuts next. Uh, but yeah, let's do it. You looking at me? You come for the gun show, have you? Of course you did. All right, welcome. Let's get you in. All right, this is it. This is the moment of truth. This is what I've been waiting for. My whole life has come to this point. This is my epic donut. Nutella filled donut and I have not had a donut for over a year now. Okay, expectations are over 9,000. Okay guys, it tastes really, really good, but does it live up to my expectations? My expectations were extremely high. Okay, the first thing that I noticed when I bit into the, um, into the outside bread part, it was not as soft as I, as I expected. I wanted it to be a little bit more softer and for the Nutella to just kind of come out, kind of burst with uh, flavor and that's what I expected, right? So I don't know how they would do that. So obviously it might not be feasible for them to do do it like that, right? Because it might not be as fresh or whatever. But they do promise that donuts are less than three hours old on their website, um, which is good. Like it's definitely fresh, but it's not what I like what I expected. Like I thought the bread would be a lot more um, soft, but it's still amazing. Don't get me wrong; it's still really good. Um, but not exactly what I thought. But anyway, I'm still gonna kill this donut, and this is the massive donut. This is a 200 gram donut, right? Uh -huh. It's got a lot of Nutella in it. A lot of Nutella. I would say at least, at least 100 grams of that is Nutella. Maybe even more. It weighs quite a lot, guys. A 200 gram donut. Yeah. I expected this to be about 150 because I saw online the average was about 70 grams. I thought 70 is a bit light. I thought maybe it would be about 150, but this is 200 grams, so. Mm. It is good, guys. Don't get me wrong. It is good. My expectations are so high. You know that feeling when you really expect something to be perfect? Okay, so expectations just drive up way too high. And you know, it might not always deliver, so that's the thing. You should always set, if, set your expectations a little bit lower, just so it surprises you. If it's really good, you get, get a surprise. But if it's not that good, you're still happy. So, I'm still happy, so I don't mind. Oh, man. There is just so much Nutella. It's just, it's a lot of Nutella and it's quite heavy. I just watched Furious Pete uh, yesterday on YouTube eating a five kilogram tub of Nutella. And I don't know how he did it, right? Like these competitive eaters, I don't know how they do it. Like to eat a five kilogram tub of Nutella. Like I'm eating just like hundred grams and it already feels quite heavy. I find it hard to swallow, to like digest it, to swallow it. But yeah, yeah, I, I really don't understand how to do it. You know, so obviously it's their kind of job, hobby, so they know the you know the tricks and stuff. But anyway, it is good. I thought I can have three donuts, 
but I really don't think I can have a third one. So I'll probably have the Nutella one, and I'll have the salted caramel already. I really wanted to try the salted caramel, so I might try half of the salted caramel, and maybe one of the other ones, the Cookie, uh, Monster, or the Home Alone, because obviously I've never tried these donuts before. Uh, but yeah, let's try it out, see if I like it. Mm. That's one thing, I always forget to drink water. <clears throat> so when you're eating heavy foods like that, you definitely have to drink a lot of water to help you with the digestion. Um, that's what I feel anyway. But yeah. Mmm. That is perfect. Alright guys, next up is the salted caramel. So as you can see, there's quite a little bit of caramel inside there. And let's give it a go. It sounded really good on the website. Um, so I thought, I definitely have to have that one. Okay. It's really good. It's definitely really good. Hmm. It's really sweet, but it's not as sweet as the Nutella ones. Like, there's obviously that little bit of salt in it there to break up the the sweetness and break up the, the flavor. Um, the bread that they use is my biggest concern because it's just not that soft. That's the only concern. But the flavors are really good. You know, the flavors are really good. Just the bread is just a little bit generic for me, like, I really expected that soft, doughy, kind of, you know, nice texture, but it's still decent, I'll give it a, I would say a 6 out of 10, it can be better, it can be a lot better, um, but yeah, so 6 out of 10 is still pretty good, right, for the bread, you know. Hmm. Next up, we're going to try the Cookie Monster, we've got half of that. Um, so right now I'm feeling quite full, like I'm really getting full. So this will probably be the last donut that I'm having. So I had the massive 200 gram Nutella donut, I had half of the caramel, and I'm having half of the uh, Cookie Monster. I definitely want to try the Home Alone, because I've got really no idea what it is. Like I can see there's a Kit Kat on top. Uh, but I definitely want to try a little bit, so I'll see if I have enough space for that. But yeah, let's try the Cookie Monster first. Mm, that's definitely too sweet for me. Alright guys, there's glaze on top, there's cookie on the top as well. Oreo cookie. And there's like chocolate inside as well. There's like glaze underneath and everything. I mean, I do like sweet foods to an extent, but when it's so sweet, I just can't eat it because it gets sickening, right? So I don't think I can eat this one. Yeah, just too sweet for me. At this point anyway, it's just too much. Um, I'll try this one though. Um, so Home Alone, okay, let's give it a go. Okay, it's actually got nothing inside. Mm. This is okay. So the majority of the flavor is coming from the top. You got your Kit Kat, you got your kind of glazing and the chocolate stuff on top as well. Uh, and you got some kind of biscuits on top as well. Nothing special guys to be honest, nothing special because they're bread part. I don't even know what they call it, they might have a proper name for it. but. Um, definitely too hard for me. It's not. It's not the you know the biggest 
the biggest selling point of this of these donuts. So there's just so much bread, as you can see in this one. I mean, you have to, you know, eat through all that, and it doesn't even taste that soft. And on the top is just sweet as like you got your Kit Kat, your glaze and stuff like that. It's just too sweet for me to be honest at this point. But anyway guys, I tried all these donuts. Did they live up to my expectations? Um, not quite, but I still enjoyed it. The Nutella one I definitely enjoyed. I will give the Nutella one definitely an 8 out of 10. Um, the other two I will give a 6 out of 10 unfortunately. So. I would have to give this place a 7 out of 10 donut time, 7 out of 10 um, altogether, and it's based on my preference because I just don't like extremely sweet foods, right? And I'm not a professional reviewer or anything, so I just want to give my honest opinion about what I like. Um, so definitely the Nutella one was really good, because uh, I've never had a Nutella donut ever, right? I've had Nutella in a sandwich or, you know, a Nutella pizza which are the common ones, but in a donut, never really had it, so I thought it might be a good idea. It was good, but just wanted that bread to be a little bit more softer for the Nutella to come out, kind of uh, splash out, and it just kind of melts in your mouth. That was my image anyway. Uh, but yeah, a good 7 out of 10. Um, I definitely enjoyed it, I definitely enjoyed the pizza, and this was my epic cheat day, right? I have to work out the calories, but I, I, I would say, it was roughly about two and a half to three thousand calories max. But yeah. Anyway, anyway, guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be updating you every few days with uh, new videos on my diet, on my training, motivation videos, all natural bodybuilding focused videos to help you guys out in your own fitness journey. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you made it until the end of this video. Um, I hope to see you in my next video. Stay natural.